greetings to all in this lecture we will continue the stator core design and rotor core design like geometrical specifications and we will discuss the coil height and coil width how to calculate and rotor pole height and rotor pole widths and flux densities at the different parts of uh, rotor iron etc let us consider the uh, situ reluctance machine where the coil width is nothing but wc we can see here coil width and coil height is hc so we have to calculate the height as well as width of the stator coil coil dimensions the coil area is nothing but hc into wc height into width it is equals to total number of conductors placing in the slot or we can uh, represent with respect to the cross sectional area of the conductor into the number of turns placed in this area right this is the coil area this blue color highlighted one in this how many conductors we placed that many conductors into cross sectional area of the each conductor will give this area right so the total number of conductors with respect to one coil will be n phase by 2 and if the number of turns per uh, if the total number of phase sorry total number of turns per phase placed on two poles means n phase by 2 will come if total number of turns per phase is placed on n poles means n phase by n we have to consider so this n phase by 2 representing the number of turns are placed on two poles that's why n phase by 2 so this equation will give the coil area here ac is nothing but cross sectional area of the conductor in mm square and hc is in mm and wc also in mm coil width now with respect to the perimeter of the bore diameter in terms of coil width let us consider this is the arc length with respect to the stator pole w arc length and the coil is placed here this side as well as this side consider here one more coil is placed with respect to the other winding and the distance between these two coils is nothing but w c s and w c is nothing but width of the coil so this is with respect to one pole and two windings okay that is total width with respect to one particular pole so if we will define the perimeter with respect to inner diameter of the stator that is with respect to this point with respect to the inner diameter or bore diameter the perimeter is nothing but pi into d i s is equals to number of poles into this total width right capital w capital w is nothing but total width with respect to the two coil sides and distance between two coil sides and arc length two times the coil width plus distance between two coil sides plus arc length because under each and every pole two coils are uh, like two coil sides are placed from this point to this point that is nothing but w if we will consider coil placed on this side as well as this side and this is uh, this is the width between uh, like distance between two coil sides then this distance also will be same from this point to this point also 
it is capital W because it is WC, it is W arc length and it is also WC and this length will be WCS. So, the w, capital W with respect to one particular pole length will be same. So, that length I am representing with respect to the perimeter. So, DIS pi into DIS is equals to number of stator poles into 2 times the coil width plus distance between 2 coil sides and arc length is nothing but what? Angle into radius right, radius is nothing but DIS by 2. So, if we will rearrange the terms, the width of the coil WC is equals to pi into DIS divided by 2 into number of stator poles minus beta S into DIS by 2, this total term will be arc length plus WCS by 2. So, this is equation number 17, this equation will give the width of the stator coil. So, if we will substitute this width of the stator coil in the above equation with respect to the coil area HC into WC is equals to AC cross sectional area of the each conductor into number of tons per phase divided by 2 right. In this equation if we will substitute the WC from the equation number 17 then we will find the HC is equals to height of the coil. HC is equals to AC into cross sectional area of the conductor into number of tons per phase into PS stator number of poles divided by pi into DIS minus number of poles at the stator side into arc length beta S into DIS by 2. Just solve the this uh, equation. 17th equation I am substituting in this equation then we can find the height of the coil. So, this is the final equation to find the height of coil and type of winding which type of winding we are utilizing means concentrated winding. Concentrated winding where all tons or conductors placed at one particular place that is on top of the uh, with respect to the stator pole we are placing the conductors. And as per the number of poles the winding has to be selected. Similar to the induction motor here also the length of the coil and uh, phase resistance and volume of the coil and copper weight we can calculate. Since it is a concentrated winding the length of coil with respect to 1 ton, this is with respect to 1 ton, L coil with respect to 1 ton will be is equals to 2 times the length of the core plus 2 times the width of the stator pole, here this is the width of the stator pole right and this is also width of the stator pole. Plus 1 to 5 percent of stator core length we have to select, then this will give the length of 1 ton coil, this is uh, single ton coil. So, this length we can calculate in this fashion, this is Le and this arc length we can uh, define with respect to the width of the stator pole and extra length I am considering on top of one other we are placing the n number of tons right and the stride portion which is coming outside the stator core that will be 1 to 5 percent I am considering empirically. So, this will give the length of one particular ton and if requires exact length of coil we can calculate as per the electromagnetic electromagnet example what we have discussed in the earlier lectures. So, based on the electromagnet examples we can calculate the length of coil in a accurate manner. So, the total length of coil is equals to A 
L C is nothing but length of one single coil is nothing but or single turn is nothing but L coil into total number of turns per phase. This is one turn length into total number of turns will give the length of the total coil. This is equation number 19 and equation number 20 and phase resistance and volume and copper weight and other things we can calculate similar to the induction motor like resistance rho L by A and volume L into cross sectional area of the conduct conductor this is L length of the each coil or total length of the coil and weight is nothing but density into volume into total number of phases this will give the copper weight and finally, we have to this equation similar to the induction motor we have to analyze and window check we have to verify. So, the total slot area to place the conductors into window factor should be greater than the 2 times the number of turns by 2 into area of cross section of each conductor or we can represent this complete term 2 into H C into L C because in each slot we are placing 2 coil sides right. We can see here this side one coil side is there this side also another coil side is there each coil side area is H C into W C. So, 2 times the coil area we have to consider and it should be always less than the actual slot area and window factor the window factor will be generally 0.5 to 0.75 kW. With respect to this thing we have to verify the window check equation and finally, for a stator design what is the outer diameter of the stator then inner diameter of the stator plus 2 times the pole height that is d s s or slot height and 2 times the back iron width that is DCS, then we can get the outer diameter of the stator. The next in order to design the rotor circuit, the air gap we have to select air gap length that is LG, LG for small missions, small and low power applications, it is in the range of 0.18 to 0 0.25 mm again these are the empirical consideration values and for high power applications it is 0 0.3 to 0 0.75 mm and depends upon the power rating type of coolant or cooling arrangement and speed speed of the rotor and magnetizing current we have to select the length of the air gap. Next we will discuss the rotor design. Similar to the stator we have to calculate the height of the rotor pole and width of the back iron that is DCR and height of the rotor pole is nothing but DSR and inner diameter of the rotor and outer diameter of the rotor. First outer diameter of the rotor is equals to inner diameter of the stator minus 2 times the length of air gap will give the outer diameter of the rotor. Next the pole width, pole width is nothing but this one that is W R P rotor pole width. Similar to the stator here also the angle with respect to the rotor pole the rotor pole arc angle with respect to the rotor is nothing but beta R. So, with respect to the rotor arc 
एंगल पोल आर्क एंगल साइन बीटा आर बाई टू इज इक्वल्स टू विथ ऑफ द रोटर पोल बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाई रेडियस दैट इज आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ द रोटर डिवाइडेड बाई टू विच विल गिव द विथ ऑफ द रोटर पोल इज इक्वल्स टू आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ द रोटर इन टू साइन द एंगल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द रोटर पोल आर्क डिवाइडेड बाई टू दिस इक्वेशन विल गिव द विथ ऑफ द रोटर पोल नेक्स्ट हाइट ऑफ द रोटर पोल एंड बैक आयरन थिकनेस वी हैव टू एनालाइज बाई कंसिडरिंग द बी जी पीक वैल्यू एंड बी आर पी रोटर पोल फ्लक्स डेंसिटी दट इज एट दिस पर्टिक्युलर पॉइंट एंड देन दिस इज बी जी एंड दिस इज बी रोटर पोल फ्लक्स डेंसिटी एंड दिस इज बी सी आर सो इन द बैक आयरन इट इज फ्लक्स डेंसिटी बी सी आर बैक आयरन ऑफ द रोटर फ्लक्स डेंसिटी विल बी बी सी आर एट द रोटर पोल फ्लक्स डेंसिटी विल बी बी आर पी एंड एट द एयर गैप फ्लक्स डेंसिटी इज बी जी पीक सो वी हैव टू एनालाइज दिस इक्वेशन लाइक फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू बी इन टू ए इन दिस फॉर्म विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस इक्वेशन वी हैव टू एनालाइज दिस थ्री इक्वेशन एंड टेक द रेशियोज सिमिलर टू द स्टेटर डिजाइन फाइंड द बैक आयरन विथ दैट इज डी सी आर एंड हाइट ऑफ द रोटर पोल देन वी कैन फाइंड द डी सी आर एंड डी एस आर इक्वेशन द जनरली द थिकनेस ऑफ द बैक आयरन डी सी आर विल लाइ इन द रेंज ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स द स्टेटर पोल विथ टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव टाइम्स द स्टेटर पोल विथ आफ्टर नोइंग द ऑल दिस क्वांटिटीज लाइक स्टेट रोटर पोल हाइट एंड बैक आयरन विथ दैट इज डी सी आर सो आफ्टर नोइंग डी एस आर दिस वन एंड डी सी आर इज नथिंग बट रोटर बैक आयरन विथ एंड डी एस आर इज नथिंग बट रोटर पोल हाइट देन वी कैन फाइंड द रोटर इनर डायमीटर दैट इज डी आई आर इज इक्वल्स टू आउटर डायमीटर माइनस टू टाइम्स द टू टाइम्स द रोटर पोल हाइट दैट इज डी एस आर एंड टू टाइम्स द रोटर बैक आयरन विथ दैट इज डी सी आर डी एस आर एंड डी सी आर देन वी कैन फाइंड द इनर डायमीटर ऑफ द रोटर दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन टू फाइंड द इनर डायमीटर earlier equation if we'll solve this thing then this equation is nothing but 27 so finally we can find the inner diameter of the rotor with this i am concluding this lecture in this lecture we have discussed the rotor design like geometric uh, geometrical parameters like rotor pole height and pole width and back iron width and air gap how to select air gap length thank you